foundation, concealer, and bronzer has already been applied just to make sure that this tutorial isn't super long. Into the crease goes Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. This is going to act as a transitional shade as per usual. And then I'm going to pick up Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek on a Sonia Kashuk flat brush and that's going to create an illusion like I have a deep socket which I really don't. It's not a cut crease tutorial. If you guys want to see that I'll link it down below. And then I'm going to blend out any harsh lines and on the brow bone I'm popping on Vanilla Bean also from Makeup Geek. On the lid I'm using Peely Cosmetics it's a gold eyeshadow in Banzai, and I absolutely love this eyeshadow. It's amazing. It's pigmented. Definitely check out Jasmine's shop if you haven't already. I have a full video and swatches and all of that stuff, which I'll link down below. And then I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines from that gold shadow. And then I'm going to go back in with Cocoa Bear and I'm going to mix the color Mocha for the outer corner. I just want to create shape on the outer corner because I am going to do a dramatic liner so um, I'm just applying this there and here's the liner I'm using a brown liner from Sonia Kashuk I just thought that black might have been a little too harsh for this look so I'm using a dark brown and on top of it I'm applying a gold eyeliner from NYX Cosmetics and I absolutely love it and I'm just going to pop this and follow that wing and it just gives a nice glamorous look without it being super deep or dark or you know super vampy so uh, yeah that's what I went ahead and did here and I'm applying mascara to the upper and lower lashes I'm not going to apply falsies to this look just because I wanted it to be very simple and easy something that you can just do if you have no idea what to do with your face and with a black uh, it's a black eyeshadow from makeup geek I'm just going to apply this to the outer corners and I'm gonna create in sh a shadow of the wing on the outer part to highlight my face, I'm using a City Color Cosmetics Flawless Mineral Powder, and I just love to use this instead of concealer. I've been doing this for the past few months, and I'm kind of over highlighting with concealer, so I've just been using that powder. And I added a highlight also from City Color Cosmetics. And speaking of City Color Cosmetics, I am using a lip pencil. I forgot what color this is called. All the products and information that I use today will be in the description bar. So please open that up and check it out. And then for the lip, the actual lip part, I'm going to use another City Cosmetics product. You guys know I'm obsessed with them. And it's a lip stain. And I'm just going to apply this. And I'm actually going to layer it. So I'm applying it, letting it dry, and then going to go again on top of it until I achieve the right amount of coverage that I want. And then go in with a concealer and clean up any of the feathering. Now for the hair, I'm just going to show you how I create voluminous New Year's Eve curls. I want something very sexy and sultry. So as you can see, I'm just using my Numi. This is from the Lustrum set. And I'm just parting my hair. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to wait a few seconds. It makes a nice loose curl and I'm curling them away from my face um, and then I just flip the side of my head over and just kind of curl different pieces just to make sure that it looks okay and I fix it up and I'm using a Numi white truffle uh, serum that I always use on my hair and just fluffing it the bigger the better and yeah that's it that's what I did for this particular New Year's Eve look if you haven't seen my last one I'll have that linked down below as well as the end of this video please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and share it with your Google Plus and all of your social medias I'll see you in my next video love you Oh, 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 oh,